Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel from Coralos, and today is Wisdom Wednesday, and I have five reasons for you on why your aquarium needs the sun. Now, if you have a standalone system like a nano tank with included filtration, those units are a separate monster on their own. This is for those with the standalone tanks with the hang on the back systems. So, number one reason is extra water. Having a sump on your tank is going to add extra water, which means more water to dilute phosphates and nitrates that your fish or corals may be giving off and also it's going to be more trace elements available for your aquarium inhabitants. That's one reason why I love having the extra water, it just makes your tank's parameters that much more stable. Number two reason is equipment. I love having my equipment in a sump because it's a little bit safer than having it hanging on the back in case there's a flood or there's a problem or extra equipment, cords hanging, you have less chance of it overflowing or spilling down the back or getting on your electrical box or something if it's in the sump. So I do appreciate having a sump for those sort of things like maybe even a carbon reactor, GFO, protein skimmer, or some form of reactor filter pad media. It's just nice having that in the sump instead of having it visible on the back. Number three reason is your auto top off. Those tanks that are standalone and you're just adding water as it evaporates, you usually can't walk away from that tank for more than a day or two before the water gets too low and you're having an issue with the water level. So having a sump allows you to have extra water for your pump or for evaporation, gives you a little bit more time between topping it off, plus you can also have a fresh water top off that is plumbed into your sump or that has a special float valve or switch that pumps the water in as necessary. So that is always a great reason, makes your water a little bit more stable, less fluctuation in your tank, means a lot more stable water parameters for your corals and that's exactly what we want. Number four reason is dosing. Dosing is very important to a reef tank, especially if you're topping off like calc or something. You'd rather do that in a sump, an area of high flow where it's gonna get diluted before it gets to your main tank and can get around your corals. You can actually burn your corals even with amino acids or certain nutrients. Um, if you're topping off alkalinity, your levels are low, or there's something you're, you're doing, a two part, whatever it is, you wanna do it and dilute it so you don't burn your corals. So having a sump it provides a great way to do that. In a turbulent area, maybe your uh, return line or your pump or wherever you want to put it that you feel comfortable with, it's just safer than dumping it right in your tank. My number five reason why I love so much having a sump is just the extra filtration that that sump provides. If you have a refugium, it's really incredible, but even if you don't have room in your sump for a refugium, it still provides a huge benefit. There's a lot of sponges and copepods and things that'll grow in your sump that really don't get a chance to in your main display because they're outnumbered or outcompeted or eaten by a fish or whatever you have, a wrasse or maybe starfish, or there's something in your tank that is wiping out those numbers. So it's really beneficial to your tank just to even have like a marine pure block or a little piece of live rock or even something in your sump so these copepods or this beneficial bacteria has a place to grow and thrive. Also, I love putting sponges in my tank in the sump. It's just a great way to know that your system is healthy if they're doing fine. And they don't need the light since they are not photosynthetic, so that's also a great place for them. Um, and I think that wraps it up for the top five reasons why you should have a sump. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy reefing. Please feel free to hit that like button. We do appreciate your feedback, as always. Um, this is a great reefing community, and it's growing rather quickly, so, Feel free to check out the new website. We also have a forum on there where you can share pictures of your tank. Um, and it's a really great way to keep in the loop, sign up, find out about discounts. Um, it's just a great way to share a coral. If you have a tank crash and something happens to you, it's a great way to get instant help. We'll get you back on your feet. We have some tank crash packs that are just awesome. Okay, just wanna do a quick recap of the five things that we just learned, the five reasons why you wanna sump. Number one is extra water. Extra water adds more nutrients. You get to dilute your system a little bit better for nitrate and phosphate control. So it's always good to have a sump or any place that you can add extra water to your system. Number two, equipment. It's a great place to put your equipment. Having a sump lets you organize things and keep track. Plus it's not gonna flood the back of your tank like a hang-on system would. Number three, ATO. If you have a sump, it's a little bit better to do auto top off with a sump level instead of a tank level. And that's just something that I have always had a great time with. It makes my tank a little bit more stable and having an auto top off in the sump seems pretty standard on most reef tanks these days. 
Number four is your dosing. Having a sump makes it safer to dose in the sump. You don't want to dose in your main system because you do want to dilute whatever you're dosing. It's just safer that way, so I choose to dilute in the area of high flow in the sump, like the return pump or something like that. And number five is your filtration. Having a sump is extra place for beneficial bacteria and copepods and other inhabitants to survive where they're not getting outcompeted like your main display, where their numbers may drop faster than they can replace and multiply. So there you go. Those are the top five reasons why to have a sump. As always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment. We always appreciate your feedback. And as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Until next time.